escaping the back. JT is one of the best dudes out there right now taking everyone's back in every tournament. So in order to be ready for guys like him, you need to know how to escape. But not only how to escape, you got to know what he's looking for so you know what else to watch out for because there's many ways to start being tricky with this back taking because you can go for attacks, put your hooks in, go back to the attacks, and just keep going back and forth, which is really confusing for the person that's got their back taken. So starting with our back already taken right here, JT's going to score with double unders. Now remember, before he has his hooks in, he has only two options to go for. Either one, he's going to try to submit you. That means you're trying to defend up here. That gives free time for the hooks to come in. Or he's going to try to put his hooks in, and he's going to leave this open. It's going to be real hard for him to concentrate on both. Okay, but he is going to play with the choke to let the feet come in. So the basic idea is before you even get the, your back taken, you want to try to keep everything pinned up as tight as possible, defending his hands and all that stuff. But let's go ahead and deal with a full-blown back being taken. Now, I know he's going to want to put a choke in. So if I'm just sitting straight, depending on whatever hand he, goes at, uh, he brings out, that's the side I'm going to go to. Because I know he wants to pull his elbow back, I'm going to defend by defending my neck, falling down to that side where the hand is. That way, even if his hand was in, it's hard for him to finish the choke because his elbow's on the ground. So I'm going to defend my neck, keep him on the side his elbow's on, and now here's the next key. I need to get rid of one of these feet. Depending on which one, is my, it depends on which one he gives me. If this foot right here is in the way, I can kind of pop it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my back. I'm going to start walking myself out, coming to the back, and I'm going to start turning right here and locking up a half guard because I know if he's if the, my back is on the mat he's not going to be on my back so our first escape is just removing the foot and kind of crawling over now remember like I said we have two options you can go for either foot one foot's going to be kind of going to a half guard the other foot will come out and you can try to turn back into the closed guard so from here like I said depends on whatever hand he comes in I'm going to defend and I'm going to go to that side now from here let's take out the top foot I'm going to take the top foot out and I'm going to step over the hook that's still in. Once I step over, I'm going to reach and I'm going to grab his elbow. And I'm going to just start pulling as tight as I can because I want to pull him in front of me as I try to get back to my knees. So I grab his elbow, I step over, and I keep working myself, holding him down. This way he can't keep climbing up on my back. I keep his arm nice and tight. Once I come here, I work myself back into that, that guard, that position, trying to keep everything as tight as possible. That way he doesn't start sinking in a choke or start trying to dig feet in. So now JT has his hooks in, got both hands in, I'm defending my neck. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a side. Remember, if he takes a hand out to choke you, that's gonna decide which side you go to already. But if they just have your back, you can just defend and go to whichever one you want. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this foot out and I'm gonna start stepping over. Once I step over, I need to watch out so he doesn't keep climbing up to my back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep pinning down maybe kick this other foot off. I need to remove everything that's holding me in. Remember right now, he's got double under, so I'm pinching his arms to not let go. From here, I'm gonna work myself over the leg and just keep sliding out until I get my back on the mat. He might go to mount, he might try to go to half guard, he might try all kinds of different things, but the whole idea is to not be with him on your back. You need to get out either turning into him or scooting your back flat. So watch again. This time, he's going to take his hand out and go for the choke. I'm defending, I'm grabbing, and falling onto that side. Now I can start working hooks out. If you can use your feet, you can start trying to kick legs off. And remember, walk over the leg. Notice how once I step over here, I'm going to pick my leg up so you can see, I'm going to step on his foot. Once I step on his foot, it prevents him from following me. So now I can scoop myself down, work to the half guard, and start coming out. Again, if you went for the choke again, I'm defending, falling down to this side. Maybe this time I need to use my hand. I'm gonna take it out, bring this hook out, and maybe I can step over, start coming to my knees. And remember, I'm gonna keep turning and not letting go, and turn right back into the guard, and start continuing on for a pass, or whatever else you might be going for. 